I think it did a great job, uh, kind of set the tone early for uh, offenses that um, you couldn't run the ball to my side, uh, couldn't throw the ball to my side. I think that um, setting the tone early, it kind of carries on the rest of the game. Uh, sometimes you have a tendency to get kind of sloppy. How are you looking to kind of improve that? Sloppy in what way? A sloppy, like kind of using penalties and stuff like that. Yes. I had zero pass interference, zero holding, so cut the tape on again. I think you might see something else. How much pride do you take knowing that uh, I had three receivers tell me that you were the best corner that, uh, that they faced? How much pride do you take in that? I take a lot of pride. I think it kind of just validates the work that was put in all year. Um, those are some great, great receivers that said that. So something for me, I, I really kind of felt um, honored that they felt that way. KJ yep. Hamler was one of them too. How did you feel going against him? Uh, KJ, that, that was a kind of a I love the compliment because that week was my first week going to the slot, and it's like your first week matchup against a guy like KJ, who's like ultimate speed, ultimate quick quickness. It's just about um, really being detailed in your technique that week. Yeah, studied, studied you a lot that week. <laughs> I studied him a lot too. <laughs> Jeff, I talked to Darius Slay a couple weeks ago at the, at the uh, Super Bowl. He said he's kind of reached out to you. He's talked to you guys and built a little bit of friendship. Just what has that meant for you having a guy like at that? Level, kind of reach out, give you some advice, and um, what's that? It, it's big because I mean, in high school, college, I'm always watching Darius Slay, trying to see, uh, trying to emulate the things he does. He's a great player. He um, has plays with great technique, and he makes amazing plays. His nickname, Big Play Slay, is like, how much better does it get than that? And um, so, just being able to reach out to him, talk to him, use him as a resource, really, uh, I think it just kind of shows what kind of guy he is because he he doesn't have to talk to me, honestly. Jeff. I think it'd be magical. Uh, magical. I think it'd be uh, really tough for that division. Jeff, what all are you planning to do here? Everything. You trying to do all the drills? All the drills. <laughs> what do you feel like you're going to be able to prove here? I think that uh, I want to prove that my footwork is uh, really, really good for someone that's my size. Some of the projected top guys aren't doing anything at all. What made you decide that you're going to do everything? I think coming to the combine has always been a dream. So just being here is a dream come true. And. Uh, I think that you go back, you watch some of these combine videos. Like for me, I've watched Aaron Ramsey's combine video, Patrick Pierce's combine video. I want someone down the road to say, let me turn on Jeff Okuda's combine video. Was there much talk about not running the floor? Do you do anything, Jeff? I mean, what, there's a risk reward factor there, I think, for somebody in your position. I think it's kind of like there's risk reward for everything. So for me, it's just no different than going out there, going against uh, T. Higgins or something all game. It's always going to be risk reward. So you kind of have to, you, you kind of, you choose, you choose if you're going to get the reward or you're going to get the risk. <laughs> Jeff, ball production <clears throat> was something that was a big knock on you coming into this year, but you go out, you have a phenomenal game against Nebraska. So finally getting those interceptions, what did that mean? I think that it just, um, Coach Halfley always told me, like, don't, don't force it. it it'll come. I mean, uh, as long as you're not dropping any interceptions and just catch the ones that come to you, uh, that's all you can control, you can control. So for me, it's about, putting my head down, working hard, and just waiting for the moment. And when the moment came, I got to capitalize on it. And then something that's a big debate with cornerbacks is do you play the hands of the receiver or do you turn your head around and find the ball? Where do you find more comfort? See, I'll be real with you. The first two years of my uh, career at Ohio State, I played through the hands. And then I saw that for me, uh, it was leading to pass interferences. It was leading to when the ball was underthrown, they would come back through you. It's just a lot of awkward things. So that last year, I really worked on looking for the football. Every day, we just drilled it religiously. and. Uh, Looking back for the ball, like I said, it cost. I had zero pass interferences, and uh, I didn't give up any any D balls. Jeff, I saw that you uh, and Jordan Fuller recently went up to Boston College to see Jeff Halfley. Just how valuable has that relationship been in getting you to this point? I think Halfley. Um, I, I kind of credit him for, for the for the leaps I've taken in my career. Uh, he's a coach that um, uh, he, he's had a tremendous tremendous impact on my life. Um, the way he's taught me the game, the way he's uh, helped me develop as a person. Uh, the way he's even helped my technique a lot. I think that uh, without Coach Halfley, I might not, I might not be in the position I am in right now. Jeff, are you a talker on the field? Are you chirping the receiver? I'm kind of weird because I, I really, I'm really kind of silent, but but I'm kind of whispering. I'm getting in your head at the same time. I'm, I'm always telling receivers like, "Hey, man, I'm sticky. It's gonna be a long day. It's gonna it's gonna be a long day." And uh, I think they feel that eventually. I saw that your uh, your measurements of your hands, your one of them is bigger than the other because of your pinky. Just kind of what's the deal with that? So. <laughs> I jammed my finger in high school, or dislocated it really. So I, t I try to tell the guy, do my left hand because the right hand has a dislocated finger from a long time ago. And he made me do both. And then when I got up there, he's like, pinky deformation. So for everyone that wants to see the pinky, it's just, 
I don't know if y'all y'all can say it's the forum, but I feel like it's just it's got it's got a little nub on it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> part of the game. Does that affect you at all on the field or just No, no, it's just something that I that just there. <laughs> it expands the expands your catch rate. I love all my fingers the same. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a form with the Lions yet, so I got in on Wednesday, met with the, the Browns and the Raiders.